I've been editing black and white photographs for many years and I've always been fascinated with the zone system. The zone system was introduced around the 1930s and it was introduced for the black and white darkroom printer. But now we can use that system in the digital workflow and this is exactly what the digital zone system panel allows us to do. We're now on version 3 of the panel and version 3 not only brings in new features and enhancements but it also brings in new algorithms where we can create the zones more precisely. There's a nice new feature which allows us to target a certain part of the image even if we don't know what the zone it is. For example, I'm going to choose the target sample point and I'm going to place a sample around here. I know that I want to brighten this area but I don't know what zone it is. So I'm going to let the panel make that decision for me. I'm going to place the sample point there. If I think that I've placed it in the wrong area, I can simply move it around. We could create different sample points and let it create multiple zone masks, but I'm just happy to let it create one. Now I'm going to select the target sample point option. It will analyze the data beneath that sample point and it's created a zone zero mask. It's placed that mask adjacent to an adjustment layer for a curve. And now I can come in and I can increase the brightness of that area slightly. If I don't want that adjustment to affect all other tones which happen to fall within this zone, I can place this particular layer into a double mask layer, choose an appropriate brush opacity and an appropriate brush size, and I paint back that effect just into the area which I'm interested in without affecting any other parts of the image. If we do happen to know where the zone is, because we are familiar with reading zones, we can target those zones by choosing one of the options for the single zones. For example, if I want to target zone 4, I'll choose the number 4 option. It creates a zone 4 mask. I can make the adjustment and just like before if I don't want that adjustment to be affected throughout the entire image I can place that into a double mask and I can paint back the effect exactly where I want it to be. If we want to see the mask we can now see the mask by pressing this icon and this allows us to see if we've actually missed parts of the area and I can see areas here which I've not quite got correct. If we're not familiar with working directly onto the mask, but we prefer to use the red overlay, we can do that by choosing this icon. And now we have the traditional mask overlay, which some people may be used to working with. If we want to change the softness of that mask, we can also do that by using the mask softness slider. So the more I bring the slider to the right, the more you'll see how much of a feather has been applied to the mask. And this gives us a nice transition between the tones. We also have the ability to create groups of zones. So if I want to target all the tones that happen to fall between zones 4 to 6, I can do that very easily by choosing this option. The program will select all the tones that happen to fall between these zones, then using the curves I can make an adjustment and if I don't want the adjustment to be affected throughout the entire image, I can use the double mask feature and then just paint in where I want that effect to take place. Also part of the program now, we have the ability through the flyout menu to check for updates to see if you're running the current version. We have the about box which gives you direct access to the website or if you need product support you now have direct access to product support. Also from the flyout menu you'll notice that we have the tutorial videos built directly into the panel. This means that we no longer have to go to an external website to view all the mini tutorial videos. They're all here built directly into the panel. This has been done by creating a custom built video player. So for example, if we want to see more about the target zones, we can choose that video. This will open the new video player itself. It's a standard video player. We've got all the controls along the bottom left. and resize it 
where we want to resize it to. And this is all brought in directly into the panel. So unlike before, there's no fumbling around going to an external website trying to find out where these mini video tutorials are. They're all built in directly into the panel and they're available from the flyout menu under the tutorial video section. So this is a quick introduction to the new Digital Zone System 3.0 which has completely been rewritten from scratch. We've got better algorithms to give you more precise zones, more precise zone groups and also we've got the ability to view the masks. If you don't know the particular zone you want to target, all you have to do is choose the colour sampler tool, find the area on the image that you do want to change, place the sampler point and then choose whether you want to create a single zone from that or create a range of zones from that and let the program work out exactly what the correct zone should be for the area that you chose. Thank you for watching and bye for now.